Hey, what's up everybody? It's Philly Ron. Thank you for joining me in this video real quick. Please make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and get under there and make some comments for me. I definitely appreciate you guys. It's been a couple days since I've been on. Um, to be quite honest, I've been having, been going through a lot of thoughts or whatever about this game mode. Um, and, it, and to be honest, man, it's been keeping me away from it. So I, I'm not going to sugarcoat it or, or anything. So what I want to do is I'm just going to go in here and buy some packs. You know I don't really believe in this crap. Um, $20 will get me a 15-pack bundle. And I was really thinking like, hey, why don't I just go ahead and get a 15-pack bundle real quick? 15 pro pack bundle. At least I know. I'm gonna get one gold in each of those. That's the equivalent of me buying three of these uh, legend packs if I were to get packs. So a 15 pack bundle is the same as buying three legend packs because they got five golds in each. Of course, five times three, 15. So that right there lets you know that you have the same amount of odds in these legend packs as you do if you were to buy a 15 pack bundle benefit in the bundle you'll get a whole lot of the other stuff probably help you complete the collection more not the collection but the different sets that they have out here i'm not really interested in that mutt uh, shouldn't be a job where i got to sit in front of the game and do sets and crap all damn day um everything that is involved with madden should try to get people to play the game more than sit around and watch auction houses and try to do it, it, it it's like the, the message of the game has been lost. You're supposed to be out here playing Madden, not watching Madden and watching um, the auction house and trying to see this card. It's like so much stuff in the game now to keep you away from the game. It, it, it's kind of crazy. So I want to get off my soapbox. I'm just going to get in here and buy some legend packs. Please, fellas, hit that like button. Wish me luck. Let's go ahead and get into these packs. We're going to buy it with points. And let's see what we get. Harbaugh, an elite. Chris Borland, 93 overall, all rookie squad. Okay. A 77. Now, and I told you before, you won't get any gold cards that are that are really usable. Um, because the ones that are 90s are all 90s or above are kickers. Um, and more times than not, you won't pull anything in a 90 rated range. So this is like a 10% pull odd when you get anything in this range. So let's see if we get anything else this high. So these are the four items almost. One, two, three, one more. Okay, hold on. A Kurt Warner collectible. This isn't worth anything. A 88, Quentin Dempsey. Here we go. We're still going to be under 90s. These people can't play for us. That was the fourth odd. Okay, there goes 76. There goes 75. So like I said, you got a 10% chance of pulling something. So this is 93 middle linebacker, Chris Borland. That was my 10% shot that I had in this pack. You got, I had the four goals that came out or whatever. Goals or elites you had an opportunity to get, and I pulled this 93. Now, the elites, because they're elites, they're, the, the ratings are a little bit better. But again, you know, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and compare. So that's out of one pack, I got a, a 93. Can, can I use him? Can I use him? Not that much of a difference. The play recognition is huge. Tackling isn't that much of a difference. He's stronger than Kiki. So, I mean, this is a usable card. I wonder how much he's worth. I haven't been on the game, so guys, please let me know what this player is worth. Let's go ahead and move on to the next pack. I'm going to pop another pack real quick. I got two left. Give me something good. Let's see what we get. Patriots offense. 81 player. Michael Irvin collectible, not worth anything. An 84, not worth anything probably. An 83, look at look at all these 83s. Look at all these 80s. 80s babies. A 90 wide receiver, Jarvis Landry. An 87, Eric Berry. Okay, maybe that's worth something. Okay, so I got two elites. Did I get two or three elites? I got two elites and the rest are 80s rated. But again, this is a 90. And I told you guys, you got a 10% chance of pulling a card that is a 90 um, or above. 
Um, it looks like they may have looked at that video because I haven't, I've never had a pack that had two elites in it, but still these elites are low. Um, they can't play for my squad at all. My current Eric Berry, of course, is way better. Um, even my backup is better. Let me see my backup to my backup is better. So again, I mean, this is just a card that you can use to complete a set. Or really, honestly, just sell. There's probably a ton of them out there anyway, but it's a card that you can use to sell to hopefully get some coins in return so that you can try to do something with your squad. All right, two, uh, we got a 90 Jarvis Landry. Definitely can't use him. He'll, he'll never start on my squad. My receivers are too damn good. Um, and nothing else, really. All right, we're, on, we're going to the last pack, or the last opportunity I have of buying a Legend pack. Let's go ahead and grab that. Again, hopefully you guys are doing, hopefully um, you guys are, are doing well in your pools. As you can see, I haven't. 87 Vernon Davis. Nah, I mean, I'm trying to fake hype, but I, I, I can't do it. 75 Chris Ivory. 82 Eric Decker. Michael Griffin. A 85 Drew Brees rookie legend. So you probably won't even be able to get anything from him. Oh, a bonus veteran pack. There we go. A 83 Ishmael. All right, so my pack is my pack was pregnant. I got pregnant packs. I had a pregnant pack, and it's 85 breeze. Again, I don't know how much this guy is worth. Hopefully, he's worth something. So let's go ahead and pull this uh, extra pack since we have a uh, a pack. Why would you be able to add this to a set? Add this item to a veteran pack set. Give me a pack? Is that what this is? I'm not gonna do that yet. I don't know how this works. Don't know how this works. Give me one second. Why not if you pull a pack, it should just pop open in your in your unopened pack. So let's go to sets. And where was that at? So that's under promos. Okay, cool. So if it's under promos, ain't no problem. Put that veteran pack in there. Just want to make sure it wasn't nothing else you had to collect. Not trying to get into that. All right. Let's see what we get in this in this bonus pack. DJ Fluker, Garrett Hartley, Bronze Badge, Jeff King, Kimbrell Thompson, Tompkins, Seahaw Seahawks offense, Jason Garrett, Silver Badge. Cardinals away, Brian Folkerts, Saints, and an 85 Charles Woodson. All right, so those are the packs. Um, hopefully you guys had better luck. Again, the um, the theory holds true. You you saw it. There's a 10% chance that you will get something that you can use. As you can see, I got nothing that I could use eh, except for Borland. We could probably use Borland. So out of three packs, I got one player that I could actually take to the field. And the game is about playing Madden. It's not about, you know, just turning it on and, and scrolling through menus. It's about actually playing Madden. So hopefully they'll, you know, put out cards or make cards accessible um, for everybody. Um, because I know a lot of people say you need to work for a team and this and that. That only thing that means when you hear anybody saying that you need to work for a squad or you need to work to have a good team only thing they're saying is to ea you need to pay more money or we should charge you should charge people more money in order to get a better team and as you can see they have no problem charging more money we still haven't gotten any good players out of it so hopefully things will change but the only way it can change is if you guys get that message out there out there so please make sure you like the channel like the video subscribe to the channel Tell others about this uh, channel. And please, let's let's get this community a little bit bigger. Let's get the guys behind me um, a little bit bigger so that we can have more of a voice um, that EA has to um, respect. All right, I appreciate all you guys. Have a great day um, on the game. Have a great week. Until the next time that we all see each other, it's Philly Ron. Peace.